all right guys what's going on um i want to talk about the debate the debate the presidential debate um saw it yesterday saw the whole thing um and it was good it was a good debate better than the first one that's for sure um i live in new york city and before i even get into this on my thoughts and my reaction i'm not a trump supporter i'm not a biden supporter but but I would say both of these guys are full of shit. However, Tuesday or Monday, one of those days, I'm voting for one of them. And it's going to be a good choice. Not based on emotion, not based on who I think is cooler, or it's based on policy. I don't care if he, I don't care. I don't have to like the president, or I don't have to like the president. I don't like the, I don't like the, like, I don't have to like Biden. And I don't have to like Trump as long as you're doing something for me and the people of the United States, then okay, in a fair and good way, then yeah, I'm gonna vote for you. Emotions got nothing to do with facts or the person. I don't care about, man, come on. I don't care. All these people talking about, oh, I don't like Trump because he said this on Twitter. Oh, I don't like Biden because, well, actually, <laughs> Biden has a lot of crap on him that I wanna talk about maybe later, but. You know, people complain about Trump and his tweets and this and that, but what about the things that he's actually doing for the country? Come on, man. Come on. Anyway, the debate. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> the debate was good. Um, uh, it started off a little slow. <laughs> like you see, Trump was like, "I'm gonna try to hold back a little because I can't forget. I don't wanna. I don't wanna snap on this guy. So let me just, you know, rev the car slowly. That uh, you know, eventually he 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 put it in full gear towards the end. Not too much like the last time, but he definitely revved it up towards the end of the debate. I like that how um you know the the moderator was uh, fair. I, f I feel like she was fair compared to the other uh, other two. Um, especially that first guy. I think his name is Chris Wallace. Jeez, he was he was. <laughs> he was definitely Team Biden, you could tell. But, um, yeah, it was a good debate. Trump held his own. I think Biden actually held his own, too. But even though Biden held his own, Trump was laying it to him about, like, uh, the corruption, uh, alleged corruption, uh, Ukraine, China, <laughs> business deals, this and that. Um, I, like, I also liked how Trump... Um, gave clarity on his taxes, and that's something that needs to be talked spoken about because I'm a regular guy, and I'm sure a lot of you watching this are regular people. Trump is not a regular guy. He has business accounts all over the place, you know, and he he's not he don't have not one accountant. He has a team of accountants, and he's been under audit I believe for ten years. So when they talking about he only pays seven fifty in taxes, he made it clear that. It was what <laughs> uh, uh, a service fee or something like that, which I already I, I heard this on another video that he did prepay taxes. He paid in advance. He paid. I think he paid quarterly, and then when the time came at the end of the year, he only paid seven fifty, which was a service fee. Now I don't have the facts on that, but you could look it up if you want to. I'm sure other people have spoken about this and debunked this already. I'm sure. But anyway, I'm glad he cleared that up. Um. I wanted him, what, oh yeah, what was that, Trump was like, <laughs> who built the cages, <laughs> this is facts, Biden and Trump were, no, I'm sorry, Biden and Obama were in office when the cages were built, that is a fact, that is true, you can see, it's all over the internet, it's fact, it's a fact, and, they, and Biden's talking about, uh, Oh, 500 kids have no, oh, have no families. Of, they can't. They're not with their parents. First of all, sir, um, the majority of the kids that came over to the United States illegally, they were carried in by not the parents, but by rapists, molesters, coyotes, things like that. And so, so the ICE has to sort that all that out. These guys are, aren't coming in the United States without IDs. They don't know who these people are. They don't know who these kids are. How are you going to be like, okay, you can come in the country. Oh, you're her, you're, her, you're her mom? Okay, cool. Welcome, welcome. Nah, we don't, you don't know these things. So I feel bad for the kids, though. Think about it. These are kids, innocent kids. And it's like they don't know where their mothers and fathers are. And these random people just, I'm not saying all of them are, you know, victims of, uh, you know, this 
human trafficking, but I'm pretty sure a majority of them are. And it's a problem. And we have to, as America, we got to get it sorted out. So, you know, you know, just like how uh, when a cop pulls you over for drinking alcohol and you have your kids in the car, the cop is going to separate you from your kids. Because, first of all, you're a danger to them. They got to get things sorted out. You know, they'll probably call uh, CPS and, you know, get things sorted out. It's about getting things sorted out. These things take time, you know. So people complaining about that, man, you got to look into it. You got to look more deeper into it. Just because the guy says it doesn't mean it's true. You got to look into it. Um, I do agree with Trump on a lot of things, though. I ain't going to lie, man. I'll be honest with you. I do agree. Um, his taxes, that don't really bother me because I feel like he's going to release it. He said he's going to release it. I don't... I, I okay. I don't care if he releases it or not. I don't, I don't care. I don't. If that's a big deal, let me know. I might be missing something. Um, what else? Um, the climate, the uh, oil. We need oil, cause um, you get rid of oil, we're we gonna use. Um, they talk. I remember they were talking about the women. I wasn't really. I am be honest. I wasn't really paying attention to this part. But they was talking about windmills. But then it takes machines to make a windmill, right? So you gotta use oil to create a wind, some, some, like something within those lines to fly a plane. You, we don't have electric planes, but we need oil to, you know, stuff like that. We need these things to keep the world, you know, rotating and world going around. Because if we all of a sudden just stop using these things, we're gonna not go anywhere. We're gonna have trouble. We're gonna there's a lot of things. And also, oh man, this was good. Trump, Trump is right. $15 an hour in New York State is not the same in another state. You can't just raise these things. It's up to the states to do it. I think Trump said that it's up to the states to um to, to enforce these policies because if you um say, hey, um, Florida, we're gonna raise your rate up to $15 an hour. Can the business can the business afford to have $15 an hour? And then if they if they can, if they can't, they have to lay off some people. Why do you think when you go to McDonald's, they have those uh, kiosk? Kiosk. Because it's, they can't afford that 15, man. They got to lay off some people. So you want to raise the 15 in a state that can't afford the 15, you got to have to lay off some people. People will start losing their jobs. That's a problem. People don't want to lose their jobs. So that's a big deal, man. But I think, yeah, it was a good debate, man. What else, man? Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh... Hunter Biden's laptop, yo, that's a big deal, man. You listen, I'm not about to vote in somebody that has a son that's allegedly involved in sexual encounters with a child on his laptop, text messages and things like that, yo. FBI had that laptop since 2019. I don't know why they ain't say anything. Something's telling me. FBI is brought out, man. I don't know. This FBI, they say they're investigating it. And then you don't hear nothing about it again. What's going on with that? So, FBI, I don't know. I've been I've been thinking about that starting this week when this first came out. FBI investigating. We're investigating. Okay, how long is this investigation going to be? Like, you know, like what's going on with that? So, I'm really concerned about that. I don't know. That investigation is taking a little too long, guys. Yeah, I gotta release some because if people, if Biden wins and this is going on, then what? You know? You know? But at the end of the day, I feel like Trump won that though. <laughs> I think Trump won that debate. He he was calm. He was collective. He rebutted what Biden had to say. Um, you know, it was a good debate, man. I got to hear Trump. Yeah, I hear both sides, so... Uh, this Wednesday or Tuesday coming up, I'm going to vote, man. I'm going to vote, early vote. Um, and I'm going to vote for not who I like, but what policies they're going to um, bring to the table and, you know, keeping America, um, you know, safe and um, prosper, prosper, you know. But that's the video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about the debate. Who? Don't tell me who you're going to vote for. I don't care who you're going to vote for. Just vote. Oh, wow, look at this. Look, look. <laughs> oh... <laughs> wow, you see that? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but as you can see, you already know who I'm voting for. That's the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.